What does this graph tell you? Well, here's one thing I could ask you from this graph is what's the class width? How do we determine that? You would subtract the two lower class limits from one another. So 56 minus 50, and you could do another test point, 62 minus 56, and you can see that the class width is six. What's the bin width? It's asking the same question. Same question, but different vocabulary word. So the bin width here is also gonna be six. What's the sample size? So to calculate the sample size, that means that it wanted to know how many pieces of data were involved in this. So you would just add up all of the frequencies and that would be your answer. And we usually represent a sample size with a lowercase n. And yes, in this class, lowercase and capital will mean something. So when you get to chapter three, you'll learn that a lowercase n refers to a sample and a capital N refers to a population. So we wanna distinguish it with a lowercase n. What's the possible minimum and maximum values? Minimum is gonna be that possible smallest one. Maximum would be the possible largest one. So it'd be the number, um, and notice my answer here is 79, not 80. Because the possible maximum number, remember the frequency distribution that we had on the previous page, was 79. Even though we see 80 here because this is the next lower class limit. This would be, if we went out one more bin, that would be the lower class limit of the next bin. So the max would be the number right before that. So again, that's only for a histogram if these numbers were lower class limits. So in the online homework software program, pay attention to how they described it. It could have been um, class boundaries or class midpoints, but hopefully they were all lower class limits. So that's your possible maximum and possible minimum. And we again abbreviate max and min for minimum and maximum. What's the frequency of the class containing the value of 60? Well, I'd have to find where 60 is and then the frequency of that class would be 12. Usually we denote fre frequency with lowercase f. 